Hello and welcome to week one of my fitness journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my beginning story of my fitness journey because um, it'll definitely give you a really good idea of where I started out. Also, my like first day is on there. Um, so this video is actually going to be Wednesday through Saturday because I started um, like eating healthy and working out on Monday, then I started filming on Tuesday, and then this video will start Wednesday because Tuesday was on the beginning video. Anyways, let's just get into it. I forgot to show you something. I have goals for each week, and my goals oh, for this week are... Anyways, the first one is to calorie count every day and stay within 100-ish calories of my goal. Um, the second is to work out five days out of the week, and the third is to do at least three cardio workouts. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read it, but it's backwards. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to pick um, three kind of simple goals. I know two, goal two and three seem like they're a little bit repetitive, but you know, I'm making a huge lifestyle change right now, and so to kind of get kick-started, I wanted to make sure that they were things that I could stick to, things that were simple, straightforward, and would give me good results. Just finished a uh, arm workout. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to hold the camera right now. Oh, damn, I'm looking for my phone. It's uh, in my pocket. Oh my gosh. Can I just film from down here? Oh, definitely like those beginner workouts because I am a beginner. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. About to go have me some taco salad for dinner. I will update on my full macronutrient distribution. So it is the end of day three. Um, today is Wednesday, and according to my fitness pal, ooh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I actually did like perfect on my calories, got it exactly what I was allotted, but then I ate like two bites of a hot dog and didn't put it in there. Um, but I also don't actually log my workouts, so I still should be in like the calorie range to lose weight. Anyways, my uh, protein was a lot better today. I really tried. Um, so yeah, I had 88 grams of protein, which is obviously a lot better than I was doing. I think yesterday was like 56. Um, and then 56 grams of fat, which is better, and 183 grams of carbohydrates. So my fat and carbohydrates both went down, protein went up, I did good. literally got ready as fast as I could because I totally slept in. Um, one of my goals for 2018 uh, was to not hit the snooze button, which I didn't hit the snooze button this morning. I just turned my alarm off and then I fell back asleep. So, yeah. It doesn't help that I stayed up really late last night. Um, I'm definitely finding it really really hard to like when I get home from work to work out and then cook dinner and clean up from dinner and still have time to do literally anything else um, I went literally all I did yesterday is I went to the store after I got home just like the pharmacy to pick up some batteries with the camera and a couple other things and then I worked out and then I ate dinner we sat and relaxed a bit after dinner, and it was like 10 o'clock. Like, before I even knew it, it was 10 o'clock. At that point, I'm not going to be like, okay, cool, like, I'm going to get something done on my to-do list, and I don't know, I guess that's just kind of a challenge I feel like I'm facing right now, is the time. I mean, working out takes a long time. Today, though, I will be doing, uh, 
cardio, which is definitely faster than a muscle workout. So that'll help, but I'm also working at my farthest away building today. So I'll get home later, and I'm getting to work late because I got up late. So even though I'm doing a quicker workout, I probably will still not have that much time tonight. Uh, I don't really know how to remedy this right now. Basically, I just don't feel like working out tonight. Luckily, my boyfriend is cooking dinner, so I don't have to worry about that. But, uh, I didn't get off work until 6. I usually get off at 5, so it's not like a huge difference, but, um, but I work, this building is almost an hour away from my house, so like I'm not going to be getting home until 7 by the time I eat and kind of like relax for a minute. I just I feel like it's going to be too late to work out. But then at the same time, I know I have a long day tomorrow. Tomorrow is usually my longest day at work. And so I know I'm probably not going to work out tomorrow. Like I feel like I should just do it today. Just like a quick, even if it's just like a 10 minute cardio, just do it. So, I'm doing it. I'm about to work out. Um, it is almost 9.30. Um, and I'm still actually a little full from dinner. All excuses that I would have used before. But I'm committed now. I'm going to do a HIIT workout. It's going to take me 8 minutes. And, yeah. So, it is the end of my Thursday. I'm just gonna check my fitness pal to see where I ended up with my calories. I did get my workout in, which was good and surprising. Um, so I, oh, I don't know if you can see it, but I swear I say that every time. There you go. I was 53 calories over, which, like I've said before, I'm not trying to be like too strict as far as um, being exactly on my calories or exactly like under my calories because I set my goal to lose weight so even if I'm like 50 calories over it's not going to make that big of a difference I didn't try and eat protein like I did yesterday and so I did end up not exactly with the percentages that I wanted um, again my fat was a little bit high I guess I just eat a lot of fat in my diet so I think the solution that I have come up with will be maybe starting like next week. I'm gonna get a protein powder, put that in my smoothies in the morning. Hopefully that'll just be enough to, for one, bump my protein up and also help me stay a little bit fuller like after breakfast, because I do get hungry really quick. I feel like as soon as I get to work within an hour, I'm already wanting a snack. So hopefully um, adding a little bit of protein will help. And that's about it for today. Tomorrow is Friday. It's for Friday! I just got home from work. Um, planning on going to the movies tonight to see Jumanji, so I'm super excited. I have um, been trying to eat as little as possible throughout the day, like staying full, but because um, I knew that we would probably end up doing something tonight and I wanted to save my calories in case we go out to eat or in case I want to have a drink. Um, since it's my off day, I don't have to work out today, which is super nice because I definitely need to get some cleaning done around the house. Don't know how much of my house you can see right now. I hope not a whole lot because it is really messy. So today has been just one of those frustrating days. Um, I don't really know what about it, but it just seems like everything I want to get done it can't get done because there's a million obstacles in the way and all the little things that usually just, you know, like are a little bit annoying or things I can brush off and ignore just seem to be just like right there just like making me so angry. <sighs> Which sucks because it's Saturday. It's supposed to be like a fun, good day. Oh my gosh, and it's like already almost 4 o'clock. And I just feel like the day is flying by and it's completely wasted on a bad mood. But I'm about to do a full body workout. Hopefully just blow off some steam and have a better day. So I just finished my workout. It was a full body workout. And it was hard. 
my heart rate was up the whole time. I kind of felt like I wanted to throw up, but it was a good thing because yesterday I definitely went over my calories. Um, I'm trying to eat a little bit less today to kind of compensate for that. We went to a friend's house and I had two beers, which wasn't so bad. It put me just a teeny bit over my calorie goal. Um, but I did, like, I snacked on some things while we were there that I actually didn't put into my fitness pal because it's really hard to just put, like, oh, a bite of Chex Mix or a sip of a drink or something in there. Um, so obviously that put me over. And then afterwards, uh, I was pretty hungry and there is a Taco Bell on my street and it is so hard to resist sometimes. So I did get two tacos. Um, which definitely, I mean, it was, I think the tacos were like almost 500 calories for the two of them. So it definitely went over my goal yesterday, but that workout was really awesome. Hopefully it kind of compensated for that because tomorrow I weigh myself and we'll see if all my hard work paid off. Oh, and as far as feeling grumpy, I definitely feel a lot better. I just think sometimes, I don't know how people with pets ever make videos because mine never shut up. I get this, probably a lot of other people do too. It's just like this built up like energy of like all these things you need to do in the day and the time's just going by so fast and you just feel like, like just so much built up in you. And sometimes just taking the time just to work out, just kind of like work out some of that energy and that frustration, it helps me think a lot clearer, kind of prioritize what I need to do and just have like a lot more calmness about me. Um, so, she was quiet for a second, and then my boyfriend's dad, who lives right next door to us, is out there making noises and aggravating them. Okay. So much for not being frustrated. I definitely do feel a lot different now, like, even though my dog barking on cue is annoying me it's not like so much so i think i'm just gonna go in the other room okay okay so even though that was annoying me it's not so much to the point before where it was just like really getting under my skin like affecting my whole entire mood it's just like an aggravation which is what it should be so work out for the win and work out for the win and getting rid of my Taco Bell. Hopefully I step on the scale tomorrow and it'll be at least one pound off. That's really what I'm hoping for, but we shall see. All right, here it goes. Moment of truth. So that was my first week of my fitness journey. Um, pretty happy because I, you know, I put in all that hard work and I did, I lost two pounds. Um, and to be honest, uh, the very first emotion that I felt whenever I saw that I had lost two pounds actually wasn't like happy, it wasn't proud. It was kind of like, um, I realized that I just said like a lot, I'm sorry. It was kind of a feeling of, oh my gosh, I still have so far to go. I have, you know, started at lower weights than this, um, you know, as a starting point. And wow, you know, should I really be proud? I'm still over 150. But then I immediately had to push those thoughts out of my mind um, and know that, you know, I lost two pounds regardless of, you know, what I'm at now. I lost two pounds in a week and that's above my goal, so I should be proud. And also, you know, it feels like I worked so hard to get to that point, but it's not gonna feel that way forever. Um, oh, I don't know what that was. You know, when you first start, everything feels like a task. It feels like a task to calorie count, to eat the right things, to work out. But the more you do it, the more it becomes a habit and the more it becomes a lifestyle. And so, you know, I'm definitely, I'm gonna give this a good month, you know, four whole weeks before I just say, no, this is too hard. I need to figure out another way to do this. Um, because at that four week point, I really should kind of be at the place where it's starting to feel like a habit and feel like a lifestyle. Um, so things that I learned from 
my first week of my fitness journey was obviously I talked about it all week, but I do need to eat more protein. I actually went to the grocery store today. I bought a protein powder and it's like 20 grams of serving. So I think that'll be enough having that in the morning to push me to my goal. Um, and also kind of some like filming, I guess, lessons that I learned was that I really don't talk about so much what I eat in a day, um, which I think could be helpful to some people watching this, seeing how I disperse my meals. So I wanna try and start doing that next week. Let's see how I did on my goals. I don't know how much you can see of that, but I hit my goals every day, every goal, except for on, which day, Friday. Oh, no, I, I hit my goal Saturday, I just didn't mark it. Okay, the only day I didn't hit on my calories was Friday. That was the day that I had Taco Bell, which, you know, it only put me a little bit over. Um, I still ended up having a weight loss, which is just even more proof to me that you don't have to be perfect all the time to lose weight. Um, you just have to try your best, and if you want a couple tacos in the week, just have a couple tacos in the week. If you have had an emotional day and you maybe need some wine, you can have some wine. Just, you know, watch your calories. Overall, try and average your calorie goal and you'll be fine. Um, it's Some days are harder and on those days, maybe you'll break a little, but some days are easier. On those days, you just need to kick ass. You need to do your best workout, eat your best food, and they'll even out. Um, Hopefully you don't have too many bad days in a row. I really hope so. This week has been okay for me. We'll see how week two goes. I think the excitement of everything is wearing off. So um, I hope it's not gonna be too hard. Okay, we'll see ya.